Digital Media. I am so happy you're here. Thank you for joining me. When Wigs.com reached out and asked if I would share with you all my very favorite short piece, of course, it's Alan Villa's Esprit. This girl is my workhorse. She is the perfect everyday lightweight piece. Wake up, throw her on, throw my makeup on and out the door. I wear her to the grocery store. I wear her out with my kids. I wear her out to dinner with my husband, anywhere and everywhere. She is my favorite piece. And I happen to have her in two different colors. So this color here is caramel rooted. It comes in about 10 different shades, which is fantastic. Surely you can find something that will suit your skin tone and your look all together, but you might find that one of these two shades is your exact shade. So Caramel Rooted is a, let me get my notes, medium gold blonde, light gold blonde with a light brown base. So this is a rooted color. These highlights are not all the way down to your roots. They are shaded. And so it gives that dimension that is so pretty, so, so pretty. The Champagne Rooted, which is my other piece, is a lighter blonde. And so you have a mix of honey blondes, a darker golden blonde, and your platinum blondes throughout. And so it's a lighter piece in general, still rooted, but rooted with that um, light brown base. The length from crown to ends is 10 inches. On the sides, you have seven and a half inches, and right in the front, you have 7.25 inches. So you have a little tiny bit of a variation in the front length versus your sides. It's not so much a swoopy bang, it's just creates a little bit of just shaping in the front. Um, the cap in general, okay, so the cap, oh my gosh, the cap, is the most comfortable cap I have worn ever, hands down. You have your mono left part. That to some can be a little bit restricting if you're somebody who loves to swish your hair around or have the option to part left or right or center. But on this one, I throw it on, the left part is perfectly styled and I don't wanna mess with it. I just don't wanna mess with it. So my left mono part, Solid part is just fine with me. And there's enough spacing here where you can mess with it enough. The extended lace front on this hairline is beautiful. That's an added extra little bonus that makes this hairline just gorgeous. And you can see it here. Uh, it extends just through to right around the, right around the temples here. And then um, it's just beautiful. It just makes for a very realistic hairline and a very realistic part. I mean, you just can't see no permatease whatsoever. So this hair just lays just so nicely. And because it is a hand tied top, it's partially hand tied for the most part. You have a little bit of wefting right back here, but all of this is all hand tied. You can see right through all hand tied which helps the fibers, the hair, the fibers to move in such a way that is a more natural movement, how your hair would normally move, right? Um, you have your uh, velvet ear tabs here with little metal, they're little metal stays almost. And so you take these, and I didn't know this, it took me about a month to figure this out, right? I had no idea, I'm like, what's that? If you kind of push on it a little bit, you can feel it right there and you can kind of conform it a little bit and just make it feel a little bit more custom to where it lays down on the side of your head here um, a little bit better. Just a little, like it just feels like a little bit of a hug, if you will. Um, the extended nape here is soft and has these velvet tabs. Um, Ellen Villa is kind of known for having more of a petite to average size caps. 
my head is 21.5 inches and so and this fits me perfectly and in fact this is where i have mine set permanently so i stick it and that's the end of that i don't really move these ever i don't have to um so 21.5 inches and this fits me perfectly um i'll go ahead and show you more of the color i was a hairstylist for many years before i decided to stay home with my kids and with that, I would have my clients come in wanting their blonde highlights in the summer, and then they wanted their low lights thrown in as we approach fall or in fall. Um, so winter, fall, you have your low lights, and then come spring, everyone's coming in by the drove saying, all right, it's time to lighten me up. <laughs> so I kind of compare these two colors to that whole summer, fall sort of vibe. So here's my summer with my really light blonde and then my light sun-kissed blonde. And then come fall, I want a little bit of a darker tone, a little bit of a darker look, um, a little more drama, but without going completely one into the other. So it works. It's a good little trade. I'll go ahead and try on our champagne rooted so you can see what she looks like on. They're both beauties. And you don't even have to go summer to fall. You can go Monday to Tuesday, if you please. These are so interchangeable that nobody would say a word, which is kind of, I mean, maybe we want them to say a word. I don't really mind. Hey, I love your hair. Thanks. It's a wig. <laughs> it's kind of personal preference if you share that with anyone or not. That's a whole other topic though. So, all right, here we go. So off with this one. And let me adjust my hair grip just a little bit. Just to kind of tighten her up. And I always get my lace here. Okay, hold on. On the left, because my part is going to lie right there. And I pull back just a tiny bit. Okay, let me get my champagne rooted. And you'll see so many different ways to put on a wig. Everyone has their own way. Watch mine. <laughs> And everyone looks a little, you know, when they come up for air. Okay, here we go. So, I, just to kind of let you in on a little secret, I usually spray with a little spray bottle right here at my, right here at my root, my part. Then I take my wide tooth comb, only a wide tooth comb. You don't want to damage these fibers. You want to be so, so gentle with them. This style is already... This wave pattern is already baked in. And then I'm going to mention too that these are not heat friendly fibers. But to me, it doesn't matter. I'm going to buy a piece so that I don't have to do any work, right? I don't want to have to do work. I don't want to have to put her on and throw the waves in. I want the waves already in. <laughs> I mean, imagine that. I love it. Okay, so here's our blondie blonde, champagne rooted. You have your platinum pieces. And oh my, I mean, just a beauty. Like I said, take this thing to the grocery store, <laughs> out to dinner, throw a really fancy dress on, dress her up. I play with headbands a lot with my shorter looks because I just like the look. So just throw one of these on, super, super easy. It's like a throw and go. So cute, right? I have a thicker headband I like to work with sometimes too. This navy is super cute. But just like, I don't know. I just feel so, it, I mean, so put together. This literally took what? I don't know how many seconds or minutes, but minimal, minimal. Anyway, you can find this style on wigs.com. Search under Esprit. Like I said, 10, 10 or so different shades and all of them just beautiful. The weight on it is 2.65 ounces, making it just feather, feather, feather light and comfortable year round. It's just, it's my favorite piece. So thank you for allowing me this time to share my favorite piece with you. And thank you. Happy, happy day to everyone. And 